Before we leave Tumby Bay, we have to show you some of the silo art that they have around here. This is a pretty famous one, isn't it? I, I don't actually know much about silo art, but... See, this see, is again, tum again, I know everything. Tumby Bay silo mural. <laughs> All right, well, it says here that, respect, this is an operational grain receival site. So R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You can't go past the fence because it's operational, okay? What are you doing now? Graffitiing things again, are you? Hey, I like these guest books. They're fun, so let me... You're not really a guest, are you? No, but look what I do. Aussie destinations unknown. You just tube. Little love heart. P.S. We love the. Just plug silo yourself on, don't you? <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Stonehenge is over there. Stonehenge is in England, isn't it? I've actually been to Stonehenge in England. Look there at that. Go. What's the interpretation? Are they skydiving? Uh, the interpretation is you mountain biking. <laughs> They nailed it. Yep. You kissing the dirt. They've got boardies on, but they're in the sky and they're above the fields of whatever it is. So. Yeah. So what I, do you reckon? I reckon. Interpret that it, please. They've tried to interpret that this is a farming area and it's also a beach, and they've just mashed the two together in there. That's that's what they've mm, come up with. You reckon kids jumping off the jetty or something? Yeah, I reckon they're jumping into the ocean, but it's actually fields of. But you can't see the bottom because of the fence. It's just fields, so mm. they're, they're backflipping into the fields. Bit of random information too about today, it seriously feels like we are in North Queensland. It is that muggy, isn't it? It, oh. it is a bit humid, yes. And so if, she, if she's blurry, can you tell her to come right up to me, because I tell her about 9,000 times a day that she's got to be next to me or she's going to be blurry. You guys don't think I have wrinkles, that's because I stand back here and I'm a little bit blurry. <laughs> There's Stonehenge. Look, look at this place, honey. Stonehenge, This, would, this would be just for you. Yep. I'm guessing this is the tree of knowledge. Well, hang on. Didn't we already go to the tree of knowledge? Well, I'm the tree of knowledge. What would you like to learn today? Ask me anything. I shall answer your questions. Goodbye. Here we go. Your favourite thing, honey. Look. I'm, ho I'm hoping there's an interpretation on this information board. Argent Tumby Bay Solo Mural Project. Here we go. Argentinian artist Martin Rom was commissioned to create this silo mural. He is internationally recognised as a leader in large wall murals with examples of his work being found throughout the world. So he's a pretty fancy artist. Fancy pantsy. Here you go. His brief was to create an art piece that reflected his impression of what was unique to Tumby Bay. He spent several days in Tumby developing his mural concept. He watched people swimming and jumping off our jetty. Aha! Woohoo! And joined in himself. An iconic tradition for members of the community. His mural reflects his lasting impression of Tumby Bay farming land, meeting the sea, and his fond memories of swimming from the jetty. We really so we were pretty close. We sound like we really know what we're talking about, don't we? we? Do. Mm. Anyway, it goes on to say it's it's yeah, kind of a few challenging. Locals there. It's challenging to um, to paint on the curved surface surface with the gaps between cells absolutely would be because it's all got to be in perspective yeah so as it curls around it's got to look right when you look at it from front on so man it says what a talent his image horizontally across all curved surfaces and gaps that is why the best angle to view the art as distortion caused by the curved surfaces disappear yep. the gaps between the cells minimizing curves become straight lines. You're going to so, be long? This is the end. Anyway, so there you go. There you go. I'm sure we're going to see some more as we go. I think there's one in Cowell as well where we're going to tonight. Yeah. So I'm actually go. honestly surprised that they commissioned an Argentinian artist to paint that. 
We well, should have had a good old Aussie, shouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, it was like those crazy lights that they put on the M1 near the Gold Coast. They're ridiculous that spell out. What do they spell out? Gold Coast? Uh, Gold know. Coast. And you've got to be off the side to see it. That was an overseas artist commission to do that as well. It boggles my brain a little bit. It is so wet here, hey? <laughs> Look at everything. I am so happy we left where we did. When we did. Because all that's heading that way. So I don't think, if this had hit us, I don't think we would have gone down. We would have just sunk. Yeah, we wouldn't have got out in days, so. What did we just see right then? Uh, a kid swimming in the floods. <laughs> oh. So we're pulling into Cowl now. Cowl. And Cowl. it looks dry here, doesn't it? Yeah, they've had a little bit of rain last night, a few puddles, but nowhere near what we've just gone through. Yeah. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Stay dry here? Well, I hope so. I reckon we unhitch and we go straight to the pub. <laughs> what do you reckon? It's always a good idea. What do you guys idea. reckon? We go to the pub? It's a good I'm idea, in. right? <laughs> I'm going to leave him to unhitch and I'm going to come over here and have this a look. It looks really fun. Table of knowledge. Book X. What is in here? <laughs> oh, bit of water. Lots of books. And I better close that. Close the fridge. That's an old fridge, actually. And what have we got here? A bit of recycling. Donation box, local info, and would campers please run grey water on the trees? I think Chris did a great job finding this little spot, and I'm going to go back and set up so he can get to the pub. Well, we've been here in Cow for a few days. I haven't really shown you much at all because it's been raining. It's actually been flooding everywhere on the Air Peninsula, so we've just been holed up in our van, just doing stuff here. Look at this beauty that's headed. Look at that rain oh, you over there. Are you talking about me? Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. I see there was a raindrop right there. And it's kind of everywhere, isn't it? Except there. So, but then. That's a smash. So look down the York. Come on down there. Down the um, air. Sorry. So anyway, fun times are coming. Quick, get in. The big fat raindrops are starting. Like, it was actually. Look, you're saying it's <laughs> big and fat. Look how fat the raindrops are. Look how Look how fat this lamb roast is, though. Where's that from? That's from Foodland. In? Tumby Bay. Tumby Bay. Legends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close the hatch, which, by the way, is electric in case you missed that. Dramatic. It's pretty cool. Legends. Look how much water that guy is driving through. We're about to have brekkie. And I think we're going to go for a bit of an explore today. Do you think? Uh, we go to the pub, that's what we're going to, it's Stray Day. So. And apparently people come from all around the place to yeah. eat this giant pig not on a spit. Not many people are going to be coming for the high, because the highways and are all flooded. So. Yes, the highways are flooded, but someone that is coming with us is... Derek and Sue have joined us. Good morning, Sue! They've joined us again, which has been amazing! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> We're not planning to meet up with Derek and Sue. It just so happened that they can't get into WA as they were promised. So they are now going to hang out with us for a little bit. Actually, we don't know that either, but it's just what's happening right now. We have decided to go for a bit of an explore to somewhere other than the pub. I think, I don't know, Chris is driving, so we could possibly still end up at the pub. But apparently there's some silo art around here. So I don't know how far away it is, but we're going to head off and try don't and find it. yourself. We're going to end up at the pub by lunchtime. It's Australia it's, Day. It's 10.30, so we've got an hour and a half, right? Yeah, well, no. We've got 20 minutes of looking around, then go back and prepare for the pub. Hydrate. <laughs> Watch this space. Obviously, the place is still pretty flooded. Well, well, well. There's the pub. 
Okay, not supposed to be here yet. No, you don't. Turn in. Oh, there's a pig! There it oh. is. <laughs> Din dins. All right, might have to hit it in reverse. I think the pig's gonna take a little while to cook though, so you're okay. Yeah, it's all right. There's a lot of beer to be drunk though between then and the pig being cooked. And this looks Check like this a new out. water park that's being built here. Yes. Well, they're doing a lot of work here up on the at the boat ramp and the jetty. Look at this. Oh, this is gonna be amazing when it's finished. I don't know, but can we go to the pub now, please? Two and a half weeks. That's all it took to paint that. Two and a half weeks? Yeah, I suppose that's a long time if you're painting every day. Well, I've just gone up and had a bit of a read of the information board there, and apparently that... Go to the pub! <laughs> that camel is Li Diamantina. The guy in the middle is Lionel. He used to be a farmer here. And that house used to be the school and the church. And it's the first thing you see as you come into Cow, which is... Uh pretty cool it took two weeks to create back in 2019 and it's one of <laughs> the pub Hurry okay up. well that's the silo art and i think it's time maybe to go to the pub all right are we going next place what's the next place Can I um go? there's a couple of nice things through town but i reckon we should probably go check out the pub so one nice thing is what the pub and the other one is the the pig, the pig on at the pub <laughs> the pub oh no third thing the beer the pub, the pub too yeah. there's some nice stuff at the pub I've heard that the toilets are a place where you can where find you some now? crap art. Crap art? Crap art in the oh. toilets. So I'm oh, going to yeah. go and have a bit What's of a What's that look. all about? And I'm going to go find out. Welcome to Cal's famous crap art. This is the toilet. So I'm not going to take you in straight away. I'm going to make sure there's no one in there first. Okay, so I've checked and there's no one in here. But it is like a little art gallery. This is really cool. A little frog up there. We got. What a cool idea. Turning a toilet into an art gallery. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We go to the pub. Hurry up. <laughs> got this stick insect. No. Here. I'm not sticking around anymore. Can we go to the pub, please? This is really pretty too. Rose bushes. Uh, um. Here's a pretty cool old building, the Franklin Harbour Institute. Oh, he's reading an information board. Is it interesting? Oh, no, I thought it was the pub menu. I'm going to the pub. <laughs> That's actually a map, isn't it? It is a map. Of what? So, Flinders Ranges. So, where would we be? Oh, no, it's the York there. So, we are... Kimba is there, so we are... There. There. Right there. Right there. So what is this building? The Franklin Harbour wow. Institute. I know what it definitely isn't. Matthew Flinders. Well, it's definitely not the pub, is it? This stone was laid in 1911. And an information board. The building you see now was preceded by the first institute built by contractor Alexander Sterling. 1908. They don't sell beer in here, honey. And they certainly don't cook pig. Can we go now? <laughs> the funny thing is the pub is right there. <laughs> but you know what is right up there? Bakery. A bakery. Okay, yeah, let's go bakery first. <laughs> bakery then pub? <laughs> okay, bakery then pub. Got me all happy again, honey. Happy you really know the way to my heart, don't you? Happy or confused. Bakery or pub? Yeah, I am actually confused now. Because I don't want to have vanilla slice and go have beer because my stomach would be like Bruh. Who else likes checking out real estate for sale in all the places they stop yeah, at? Yeah, look at this. I know I do. Eight acres. Uh, 120 grand. Yeah. 215,000 for a four bedroom. Hmm. Still not at the bakery. Actually some beautiful little shops in the street, hey? Well, do you guys sell beer in here? <laughs> Everyone's closed because it's no Australia Day, but... <laughs> What's this one? an op shop that looks like an op shop and they've got all their Australia Day Ooh, stuff that's a sexy rashy look at that one over there yeah that's what I need right now all my Australia Day shirts I left behind Ooh, the ghetto blaster <laughs>
place has actually got some nice artwork out here. There's the Cowell and Town Jetty. There's the Institute. I guess that's what we just looked at. There's that, the black stump we drove past. We need to find out what that's all about. You, you want to read that information board? Yeah. <laughs> and the house ruin at Mitchellville. Look at that. Look at our buildings here. Yeah. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. And there I see a sign that I know you love. Bakery. Well, we've come across another pub. This is the commercial hotel. Ooh, looks a bit sad, yeah. Oh, they definitely sell beer in here. Well, I believe. Yeah. Bakery's closed, honey. The decision's been made for Only you. leaves one more thing to do. Actually, two more things to do. What's that? Beer and pig. Two things. Right, well. Let's go to the pub. Really? I think so. I think, really? I think you've earned it. Can you say that again out loud so everyone can hear it? Let's go to the pub. You've earned it. I found one more thing we have to look at before we go to the pub, the black stump, and we can actually read the information on this one. As a New Year prank in 1972, a large stump was placed between two hotels on which signs read, best pub this side of the black stump. The original stump was stolen, this larger stump was erected in its place, also paying tribute to pioneer land clearing battles after several fires. The weight is, whoa, 2,060 kilos. <laughs> Check this thing out. It's massive. And I think if we come through here and have a look, what's over there? <laughs> He's having a little tantrum. He's sulking. He's sulking. <laughs> what have we here? Well, we definitely don't have the pub, do we? What is this? So we have an I don't know. We have a crab. We have a fish. And you can see the beautiful silo art in the background, which is pretty cool. We definitely have a Chris needs to go to the pub. Look at this, your favourite thing. <laughs> Museums. I'll be back. I'm just going to get out and have a, have a little look. Oh. oh. Yeah, now the pub. <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh, boy, <laughs> Museums actually closed because it is Australia Day. But there's still plenty of machinery outside. I'm not going to take you past all of it. I'm just going to show you quickly what's here. What I love about all these peninsulas is all the old buildings hey, and homes. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's the old like stone type buildings. It's... Look at the news agent. Look at that. National Park now, right? Is that what it said? Well, yeah, conservation, conservation park. park. I don't know where it's going or what it's doing. And but... what's happened to your blue sky? <laughs> yeah, don't talk about it. it was blue sky literally not that long ago, and now look, it's completely grey. You knocked me down, swept my feet off the ground, left me on the floor. Hard to resist, got me looking like this, like the one before. Let's go have a look. This would have been stunning an hour ago. Yeah, it would when the been. sky was blue. You can see the water's turquoise. Yeah. Pull the weed there too. Yeah. Squid. Look at the clouds coming too. I know awesome. it's not it's not meant to rain today. Well, definitely pub now. <laughs> we'll be nice and dry in the pub, honey.
So we should give you a little bit of an update. We didn't actually head straight to the pub. We decided to drive down the highway and see what was out here. And this is what we found. I think it's a little early. Yeah, it's a little early. Um, but I think now we're gonna go back to the van, possibly get ourselves ready. Maybe, I don't know. I've got my Australia Day nobbies on, so I'm ready. And uh, then we're gonna hit the pub. Oh, Look at that. that. What's like? We've got stalkers. Yeah. I, I struggled here. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> I had to go back and put in the <laughs> I wanted to record you doing the 4x4 bit. You were too quick. We're too quick, too quick. We're too fast. What do you think of Cal, Sue? Oh, Cal's a friendly little town. Yes. I actually quite liked it. Yes. got my coffee. Did you have a look at the black stump? No. The tree missed, stump? Missed the black stump. Go and have a look at the stump and read the little sign. It's quite funny. It is it? I'm yeah. definitely going to go look for the black stump. <laughs> I mean, can't pass up an offer like that. <laughs> but the pub, hey? Pub's good. Pub. And I tell you what, the little IGA is nice. I just got a couscous and roast vegetable salad for lunch. Ooh. Very good. Derek had a pie. No well, surprises. Well, he said he was going to get a pie, so... Well, he's a pie man. <laughs> so, what can one say? Chris is in the car waiting. He told me to get ready to go to the pub. I'm not sure that <laughs> this is what he meant. But anyway, I'm ready for the pub. Finally, we are heading to the pub. We've got one good deed to do and then we're going to go to the pub. But this good deed is literally right next door to the pubs. So. What is this good deed? I'm going to take Derek's blocks back. Oh, did he leave his blocks behind? Yeah. <laughs> oh, delivering the blocks and then we're going to the pub. <laughs> yeah. And Derek and Sue are joining us too, so even better. Into the caravan park we go. We're going to find Derek now. This is a good opportunity to have a look at the caravan park. Here we go. Pub on my mind, That's right? That's it. It's the pub. And that there is the caravan park. <laughs> Literally across the street. So <laughs> Derek and Sue have got the right idea, haven't they? But luckily for this one here, I don't drink, so I can drive home. Oh, I'm a happy man now. How happy on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, 15. You can smell the pig, you can see the pig, you Let's can see go. the pub. Let's go. So it's a free table. Let's go. <laughs> Hurry up! He even waited for me. It's already gone. There we go. Wish you could smell that right now. Welcome to Cow. What a beautiful day. Oh, thank you. Happy Australia Day. Yeah. Everyone. Hey. What's going on here? <laughs> bit of lamb straight today. Have a bit. Oh, that looks amazing. Can I? Ooh, like a bit. Yeah. Pinch a bit. Australian. Oh, always go the shop. That's amazing. That's so good. Oh. Friendly people here. <laughs> I have to agree with that. All right, I'm gonna head this way and see what he's up to. First okay, beer yeah. in, and he's already made a new friend. Yeah, this is Cookie. Hello, mate. Cookie. How are you? Hey, Cookie, how are you doing? Mate, we've got some great information too that Cookie was just telling me. Fill us in, mate. What's going on here? Oh, uh, well, we're opening up a uh, self four wheel drive destination here at Cow, and uh, there's not one on Air Peninsula, so um, they're big in. Big in the Flinders Ranges, but okay. uh, yeah, we're gonna have a crack here. Four wheel drive property to all you four wheel drivers out there. How many how many acres you got? About ten acres or something? Uh, uh, eight and a half thousand. Uh, eight and a half thousand. <laughs> and and uh, it's in the hills and there's four high points you can see all the golf. Um, wow. You can see the Wallaroo solos from there and uh, so uh, the track goes to 28 k's. 28 k's of full yeah. driving, intermediate, hard, bit of everything, level bit of everything, or everything, but it's okay. more a scenic drive. More a scenic drive, yeah. okay. And we've got barbecue desks, light spots, and, and toilets for the girls. Okay. And, um, Here's the true yeah. question Are your tracks wide enough to fit our big fat truck down it? Absolutely. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So it's a bit like in the Flinders <laughs> Ranges, they've got self guided sort of tour drives up through the mountains. That's so right. Yeah. Same sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, there we go, mate. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, well, Middle Camp Self. Um, okay. drive and test. how do the viewers get onto this thing? Do we? Well, we're about to launch it in about April, okay. and uh, we've actually got a um, started up a company called um, Outback Sea Adventures Air Peninsula. Okay. Yeah. Hey, cheers, buddy. You're a legend. <laughs> cheers, mate. What do we have here? Tuna. 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 Did you catch that? Yeah. No. No, I didn't. I was just, <laughs> I was just giving up. But um, you've got to have this really raw, like hardly cooked. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. That is mint. Delicious. Cheers, by the way. I'm finally, I made it to the pub. 
<laughs> Didn't we, Derek? Cheers, oh, we've been at the pub. I can come into the cheers, dude. Cheers. Ooh. Going for a bit of a wander down <laughs> to this boat here. Go Going to show you the side. Fuzzles fishing adventures, yeah. and they had a, a good good day today. <laughs> hey, so I got to climb up there, do I? Yeah. Okay, hang on. So he's convinced me to come up here on the boat. So I've come up here on the boat, but it's all we. I don't want. They, they're not, they're dead. They're dead. They are dead. So. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Now, how many of these are in there? So apparently, in that esky, there are how many? 50 yep. of these little beauties that were caught this morning. So I've been told that secretly, you're not supposed to know this, this is one of the best fishing places in all of Australia. I didn't tell you that. You didn't hear that from me. Oh! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not creeped out by this at all. I'm going to put him back where he belongs, in the ice. <laughs> All right, here we go and have a look what's in this bucket. Okay. One of something I'm a little bit more familiar with. King George Whiting. I know all about these suckers. They're delicious. <laughs> and they're fun to catch too. Better put him back where he belongs. Shut the lid. Oh, a lot of fun was obviously had on the water today. <laughs> we, we drank a fair bit of piss. <laughs> Plenty of room to jump aboard. So is this a charter boat? Yep. So he offers charters. Yeah. So if people want to catch all these crabs and all this whiting, who do they call? Fuzzles Fishing Adventures. Fuzzles Fishing Adventures, there you go. There we go. Fuzzles Fishing, yes. We've been fishing with the fuzz. <laughs> all right, I am following you. What are you going to show me? <gasps> Women are always right. Into the left. <laughs> no, just women are always right. That's all we need to know about that sign. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think about that sign? Do you agree with that sign? Oh, no, too? Never, never argue with a woman. You lose every time. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So off we go yeah, yeah. down so, here. Yeah. <laughs> More artwork. This is like a mini crap art gallery. There's a change table if you need one. Okay, well, I came in here because I need to pee, so bye. I figure while I'm here, I might as well show you a little bit of what I'm looking at right now. Beautiful pictures on the walls, artwork. That's a bad old picture. Uh oh. Hmm. Something beeped. Look at these pictures here. Anyway, that's what it looks like where we are. Look at the ceilings. So you were just explaining to me, I just mentioned that you've got artwork everywhere. Yeah. So this artwork, like all this artwork, everywhere yeah. is from the art school across the road yeah which they're all self-taught they're all elderly and they yeah they just try and sell it to pay for their costs they don't they don't make a lot of money down here this way there's more down here oh look wow moralana is it moralawa yeah moralawa creek these are beautiful my goodness mm. All different types of painting as well. So this one up here is club, yeah. actually She's depicting the world's longest continuous bar in the popular working man's club at Mildura, Victoria. So it's not only beautiful, it's educational as well, this room. <laughs> Thank you very much for my little tour of the art gallery. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, check this out. We've got a Chevy Silverado beer and then we've got a 79 beer. <laughs> Derek, they've seen how many you've had and they've given you babies. Ask for scoot. This is the problem with these things. You ask for a scoot and you get a pop. Teeny tiny. I don't even ask for a scooter because if you've got to ask for a point. Oh, so that is a schooner. That's too no, no, sick no. scoot. I don't know what a schooner is. I think they just ran out of clean glasses. <laughs> it's a pop. So, so what's that? 
No, it's the other way around, isn't it? Hot is big scoot little. Hot is big that's why I just asked for a pint. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just yeah. going to call a pot and a pint. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why you just asked for a big beer. <laughs> what have we got here, Sue? We are partaking in the Cowell Lions Clap. What they do is every Wednesday, they have a little bit of a lucky draw, $2 a ticket, and you can win a meat tray or a voucher. That's it, or two vouchers, one $35 voucher and one $20 voucher. Wow. So we're going to take our chance. Last time we were here doing got the $30 voucher, and we're going to give to a good cause. Perfect. There we really have. Ten times Miriam <laughs> on this sheet. So hopefully one of those numbers that says Miriam or Derek is a winner. I told you. One of us is gonna win. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. No. Pork winner, winner. Pork the roast dinner. And calamari shitty dinner. And calamari shitty dinner. So Sue and I are gonna be trying the calamari schnitties tonight, aren't we? And oh wait! Schnitty! Look at this. This is my calamari schnitzel with garlic sauce. It looks like a horn, honey. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Oh, I caught it. Look. caught a schnitzel, mate. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. No, I'm, I'm, I'm so there that you go. In. You get a picture of my empty oh, plate. Oh, it is very oh, nearly oh, time oh, for this pig to come off the spit and get into people's bellies. Come on, boys. Come on, TV. Let's do this. Come on. Do it, mate. Coyote! I don't like to touch Coyote! <laughs> Carrying a pig, Derek. Put your foot under the counter white. Okay, down. fine, fine. All right. There you go. There you go. Okay. Check out this thing, babe. Oh. Righto. <laughs> don't, don't put your foot. Right, you got the whole thing, mate. What happened, Jerry? Oh, so he just yeah, can't so lift it. I'm not trying to be funny, but trying to do that. I'm not being a pussy. Yeah. I just fucked. Oh, he was bad. He's South African. Shh. Straight to the Titanium caravan out the back. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's, yeah. Let's, Let's get him off. Come, come on. on. Come, come on. on. Hang on, Chris. Hang on. Look out, you are. Get out the road, Get out of the way. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You alright? Let me just shuffle him around a bit. Right, we're up. Alright, alright, let's all right. go. Okay, let's go. It's like a boot camp. We're gonna do squats now. Swing wide. Alright, swing and wide. Swing wide. Turn it down. Come the on, legs are not gonna fit through the door, mate. Come on. Right. Let's go. Oh. Just be gentle, go through. That's a few kilos there, mate. <laughs> oh, we got it. Alright, we got it. We got Here you go. Alright, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh. right, get him up on there, Derek. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey. That's it. Woo! Got on a plate. Time for dinner. So we've come out the back and we've had a bit of a squiz at the sky and it would appear that something's on the way. So Derek, you can walk to your van and sort it out. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just parked over there. You're literally right there in the caravan park. That's it. I'm the designated driver, so I'm going to drive back to our van and close the roof hatches and then I'll be back to eat Miriam, the pig. Miriam, you're, you're making it sound like you've got about 10 k to drive. It's 1.5 k <laughs> down the road. You literally could go there in about two minutes, close it and back in two minutes. And that's what I'm going to do. In yes. time for that pig. Oh. Back at the van, and look what's coming. It's really pretty over there, and up here it's getting a little bit hectic. I was just looking at your Insta, and I just want to give you a little gift. I've seen your story of the, the sausage oh and the really? and A sausage? You don't get up. So. A sausage story? Let's have a look. <laughs> no, this this is me. interesting. In here. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Can you see that? That's sausages on bread. <laughs> Derek, Derek's eyes are like, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm all good, I'm all good. Oh my god! <laughs> you Thank you so best. much. Thank you so much, babe. So this is Salty Dog Creations. Wow, Facebook. is that your business? Yeah. Oh Facebook god. and Insta. And so now I can wear sausages on my earrings. 
What is it? <laughs> salty dog. I think you salty should. Salty dog creations. I think you should pierce your ear. I, I'm going to have to pierce my ears now, aren't I? I think so. I've got a nose so piercing. Much, I can put one in my Thank nose. You. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. Really With the I got cut now. Doesn't get more Australian than this. How's your day been at the pub? Oh, Miriam, what a day. What a day it's been. <laughs> look at to, your hat. To, I love it. Oh, look, it's, it's good for the sun and it's good for the rain. And look what's happening right now with us. <laughs> but the pub was good. Tonight we had a pig on a spit. Absolutely beautiful. I think everybody liked it. And if you look around at everybody here at the pub, there's a big crowd. A, lo a, lot, a, lot, a lot's left now, but geez, this is the best way to spend Australia Day 2022 at Cal. Cheers to that! Yay! <laughs> How, how's your dinner, Derek? Get him on, so get serious. This is beautiful, I'll tell you. Is it beautiful because you carried it? <laughs> Okay, well, myself and Chris carried that in. Yes. And myself oh, and Derek. Not, uh, hand on heart, we didn't, we didn't trip, we didn't fall, we didn't put it on the grass. It was very <laughs> Derek, it was damn close though. That no, was. I was nearly gone, mate. It's a that's muscle. A, it's a cockle. It's a muscle. <laughs> it's not a muscle, it's an oyster. That's a, that's a squid. What's going on here? It's a squister. Love. Sorry, Miriam, I know we set you up a little bit there. It yeah, was too much it, fun. It, it, it's quite alright, but, but it was far too much fun. What is that? It's an oyster. Why is it white? I don't know what it because is. it's a beautiful oyster. You can see all that dust over there. That is insane. Look at that. It's starting to blow along here too. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I don't know oink, that. oink. I only got some extra meters. Happy now? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Pig on a spit. I used to get some fighting gear. Pig on a plate. Oh, hang on. Fighting gear right here! Fighting gear, mate! You got some fighting gear, mate. <laughs> the fighting gear! <laughs> Look how we're finishing off the evening. Donuts and ice cream. Hey, babe. Yep. It's time to go home from the pub. Can you drive me home now? You don't want to stay at the pub anymore? Let's go home. I got the keys. <laughs> and I got... And I got donuts. You got donuts to take home for later. Let's go. Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. <laughs> We always get heaps of questions about what air fryer this is. That is my tip. If you're going to buy an air fryer, make sure you get a good quality one. Donuts for you. Regular days